Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to our Right Tech New Horizons Season 3. I am just processing a bunch of our root tile here. Everything is going along pretty well, um, but since I don't have the interface yet, um, which I will be crafting up uh, right now, I was going to wait until I had a stack, but I'm like, there's really no point to wait. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll do that. So we need two stacks. Technically it's, it's two magnesium per one of those. So, um, I was thinking it would be two stacks of magnesium should be good. Um, cause I do want to get that interface one. It lets me access or drop stuff in the A system over there without having to fly over here yet but uh actually just really quick what is the the wireless just like the basic i don't know which the cheapest one is i don't think that is 64 i do need singularities but everything else actually we can it's actually not that bad um i don't want to get too crazy with the ae though because we're not producing like a absolute ton of power for our our tier at the moment i want to where is my there it is the network tool um, also i finally got rid of some ladders because i got tired of having if i have the hover mode on i can't go down ladders so unless there is some super secret way to get there uh shift does not work uh when you have the hover mode on um so uh we are using 300 and I think it's, oh, we're using 167 because it's like two EU per tick. Also, I don't really know what that energy generation thing. I think that's like how much you're putting into it. Like, I don't think it's actual generation. I think it's just, I'm putting that much into the energy acceptor. I think that's what that means. It just sounds kind of funny. Like AE is generating power, but. Um, yeah, so we're using 166, which is fine, but when you start running, you know, our, this thing over here is using 2,000. Um, actually, it's only using 1,000. I actually didn't realize that was half an amp. I thought that was closer to, like, a full amp. I didn't realize that, actually. Also, 1,000 is a kind of a weird number. Usually, they're, like... It's, yeah, it's like 1900 usually for EV. All right. Um, so, let, yeah, let me go put this in here and get this smelted up. Man, I really need to get... I mean, I'm working on it, but uh, I can't wait to get this all hooked up to AE. And then we can slowly start thinking about maybe getting a second one but that's um i i need to get my my power generation up and if you've ever watched my series for a long time you know i have a tendency to way underproduce power and use batteries and uh i have been told many times over the years that is the incorrect way to play greg tech new horizons but you know what i like doing it so Take that. If you don't like it, you're more than welcome to make your own YouTube channel and play Greg Tech New Horizons. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm going to try to produce much more power than I usually do. Um, and I've kind of just held off on a lot of just overproducing um, stuff like that uh, until I get auto crafting, because as you know, everything is very, very manual. And we're, we're getting better with, you know, the plates and stuff like that. But when you start talking about all the different, uh, like, the, the rotors and the rods and the gears and all that stuff, like, it is just very time-consuming. So I've been trying to avoid spending too much time on that. Um, but I, I want to definitely um, get some much bigger builds than I usually do. 
But uh, okay, so I am smelting up the titanium, like I said, and then I want to get a interface because then that can kind of sort all this stuff out. Um, so it is not getting logged up um, because I can't output the the things. I think I just that was the entire that was the entire sixty four titanium. All right. I also I need, I really need to get some of the travel anchors. Let me do that. I, I keep meaning to do that and uh, I'm pretty sure we can do everything at this point. Pulsating is just uh, diamonds and pulsating iron. Yeah, not a problem. Um, fuel generator, pretty sure the machine chassis is all Greg tech stuff. Yeah, uh, it's kind of annoying. I like manganese foils. I, I don't have any of that stuff in stock, but, uh, yeah, polyethylene yeah relatively you don't need any like uh ender io machines for that stuff and then field generators are a bit more expensive but mm. now i'm like eh, it does take <laughs> it's if i want two of them that is eight that is eight hv circuits but i have automated a lot of the ae or the circuit parts but it's still um, right now, I have broken down. I broke down the large chemical reactor that we had over here to do for titanium. So uh, crafting up circuits at the moment is a little bit annoying because I don't have a large chemical reactor. I broke it down while I was working on this stuff. Um, so the circuit boards are kind of annoying to craft up at the moment, but uh, we'll get it sorted. Okay. Uh, let me craft up that titanium and get the interface, and then we should see this working. Um, we can get this working uh, continuously to process all this rutile uh, that we are getting. We got another 106 in here as well, and we're producing a whole bunch of iron. Also, this ilmenite stuff, um, it has some really good byproducts. Um, but I don't have it hooked up to a centrifuge, so it's still kind of manual at this point. All right, we are back. I've gone ahead, got the interface crafted up, and I'm just setting the filter here. So I, th I think that was everything I needed, and I totally forgot to grab the... The cables that we need definitely would like to get wireless but uh, I think I may hold off on that also wireless cables too with the instead of doing the the p2p I would like to do that as well, but those also, it's just not wireless. What are they called? Yeah, wireless connector. Um, slightly expensive, but um, it's just so convenient being able to uh, link them uh, directly without having to do like the P2P. Um, again, they take power though. So I think we do that. Good. Pull that out. All right. I think I have got this fully automated, I think. So magnesium should get pulled out, put in there. Obviously, we don't have any acceleration cards in there. Oh. Right. I guess I could do priority. I don't have a blacklist on this one. So that should put it in there. And then we have the whitelist, so I can't put the salt in there. Yeah, the salt's just sitting in there, and that will go in there. Sodium getting pulled out. 
And then as this is producing carbon monoxide, that should go in there. Which one produces carbon monoxide? Is the rutile? Yeah, the rutile. I think we're producing... Yeah, we're, we're processing the magnesium chloride at the moment. And that is... Doing that, that will fill up with chlorine. Is that going to get clogged up? I'm going to have to wait and see what happens when it gets through all this magnesium chloride. No, because it's only, it looks like the, it looks like the conduits are only putting it in the one as opposed to both of them, which is kind of nice. I was just kind of thinking, I'm like, if that gets full of the salt, then I can't process the the carbon monoxide for the carbon. But we're also using carbon from the A system. So it, we have enough of a buffer that it doesn't have to put it back in to run. But all right, I think that is, I think that is done. Obviously, it's not hooked. We don't have it connected to that, but, uh, I mean, if I really wanted to, we could, this could be replaced with, uh, actually it can't cause I do need a, I do need a way to get multiple stacks of that stuff. But once that's all done, actually, um, that could be kind of changed into an interface, but I think for now we're good. Once we get to Mars anyway, the, shoot, I just put the wrong thing in there. Um, what was it? Oh, what's the name of that, that tool? Pocket tool. I know it's not like, not a wrench. Yeah, once we get to Mars, a lot of that titanium issues go away because it, um, there's small ores on small ores on Mars so you get lots of the the crushed and the thing you can just process that and smelt it but uh, yeah we're not uh, anywhere near that at the moment it's gonna be a little while before we get to Mars because I think I want to, before we even start getting that, I want to get all the, all the parts and the rocket parts and all that stuff. I want to get that automated. Um, so our first rocket is the only one that I crafted up manually. So that is going to be a lot of work, but I think, you know, there's no point in rushing. It's fun to see. So, all right, look at that. Yeah, all this, we've gotten, what, 90? Math is hard. Uh, even 20 niobium. We're not really using niobium at the moment, but uh, magnesium is really helpful as well. So we are getting some good stuff here. I had to, I used to have to go manually, not manually, but uh, I had to go put the miner to get the manganese in the nether. So it's nice not having to move that to get uh, for stainless steel. All right, I think that is good. I'm gonna keep an eye on the thing over here and if we have any issues, we'll let you know and then I will uh, continue working along here. Yeah, it seems like it's, seems like it's working pretty well. It is just processing a whole bunch of the salt. Yeah, I'm just kind of curious what happens when this fills up. Okay, just seeing what happens. Okay, it looks like looks like that worked. It did just kind of dump the salt in there. So uh, if we do get to a point for some reason that I had like 16 stacks of salt in here, it might get clogged up, but I think we're good. It just turns off. Um, I think, yeah, like what happens with this? I'm just... I'm worried something's going to get clogged, but it seems to be, seems like I've set everything up correctly, but 
Ah, okay. So it does look like it is clogging that up, and that's not going to work. Hmm, all right. So eventually this will fill up, and then the whole thing will get clogged. Um, but maybe if I'm only doing two stacks. I don't know. I'll just have to let it run and see, because this can hold 32 cells. And, and then this can hold 64, so we might have enough of a buffer that I don't have to adjust it here. But yeah, unfortunately, it looks like that's not going to run. Um, if Yeah, that's a lot. See, that's like a... It's four blocks, four things of chlorine, so... I don't know. Again, I'll just let it run, and then we'll we'll see. Okay, uh, I think the next thing, I'm going to hook up the blast furnace, at least get an interface over there, um, so I can pipe the, actually I already know I'm going to need, I'm going to need the EV casing, I don't have a assembler with eight, so I already know that's going to require that, so I just do that. It's easier than switching uh, things on the assembler. I don't remember if I have those cores. Ah, yeah, I unfortunately. Oh, I do have. Nope, I am out of the cores. I had a feeling that was going to be coming up soon. Um, I should have just done. Thought I had enough of those. Oh, those are for those are for the cores. Uh, dang it! I just <laughs> I just turned those into uh, quartz fiber for cables. Whoops! Uh, and I don't have obviously we don't have like the lathe and stuff uh, done yet. Also, I should have blue dust. Yeah. All right. So cable. All right, I'll let that I'll let that go. Um, because I need to get the cable over there anyway. But uh, all right, let me craft up the interface, and then I don't know. I might throw a few recipes in there. I really should get the patterns done as well. Um, we are the capacity things. Um, we're like, we're slowly getting there. Although, unfortunately, those do require, um, platinum. They need require four platinum or, but what was something? Oh, the stocking bus required four of those. That's what it was. Um, yeah. So uh, I can't go crazy on the platinum cause I think I'm out. I need to process more, but. I need to get that up and running. So many things to do. Okay, I just got a couple quests, and one of them actually was like titanium moon trigger skip or something like that. It must have been one of these gather gather quests or something like that. I don't know actually where it was. Is it like moon dust or something? I don't know if I can even find it. Oh, yeah, um, I th I think I don't know something. I grabbed a bunch of titanium, so I had two stacks because um, I've just been smelting it up, and then I threw it in the vacuum freezer, and then I decided to move the the output and the input bus. I'm just moving them down um, so we can hook them up easier to AE. And then when I held two things of titanium, it just completed that trigger. I'm not sure what it was. I th think it was yeah i don't know i'm not even gonna try to figure it wasn't that i just haven't completed it. it was something all right um but i also unlocked something about benzene too also i thought my base was on fire there for a second does that kind of look like the base is on fire uh i guess we'll do benzene something about like upgrading benzene it just kind of made me 
surprised when uh, I got two different upgrading your benzene. All right, zoom out where there you are. All right, so it was this one. Yep, so there is that. I don't know. I'm like nitrobenzene. We don't actually use nitrobenzene, but I didn't actually know that was didn't actually know that was a thing. So we have benzene. We do have sulfuric acid, nitric acid, distilled water. Uh, not the easiest stuff to craft up at this moment, but uh, we can convert our benzene into nitrobenzene and burn that instead. One point six million, as opposed to. 360 i mean yeah way better so that may be something to uh think about um unfortunately right now i am trying to stay focused here on this um you may notice i'm like absolutely tearing up my base um i'm i i can't remember if the filter i like having the filter in right here um i don't remember if it was Yeah, it has to stay in this chunk. I think we can actually expand this building. We don't have to keep the building this size. We can't expand it that way. Um, I also, uh, I think I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of this, like, tree limb. Um, because I really need, like, a basement area for this. It is really kind of annoying trying to hook up um ae and stuff underneath and the more i just break into this like the worse it looks so i'm like ah, i don't like that um so i may do like a a basement for this get rid of this and then maybe like drop it down and have it come up maybe um i was basically when the first when i first built it it was just kind of seeing how i liked it and i actually like how it it kind of turned out especially with the angled it, it does look like it's supporting this building um unfortunately it's just yeah it's just too complicated trying to get in here uh with ae cables and then because i was like well maybe i can go underneath this and then it was just yeah it's just unfortunately not the easiest that is kind of one of the reasons why greg tech new horizons a lot of people build in void worlds just because it makes this stuff a lot easier. Not everyone, but uh, a lot of people find Void Worlds uh, easier. Okay, so um, I I don't know if I'm gonna. Basically, I'm gonna. I want to hook this up directly into an interface. Did I finish that interface? I think I did. I did. Set it to craft. I don't know. Yep, there it is. Um, over here, I'm just going to do that, that, throw that away, throw that away. Well, not throw it away, but put it in the A system. Oh, I kind of needed some of those. <laughs> I'm going to have to put the floor back. Um, yeah, so we'll do the interface will at least be the out. And then that can I guess I'm just gonna have to move all this maybe down that way and then into the A system then Actually, I usually, don't we usually, I don't craft the ingots with a recipe. I usually just send them all in. How do we usually do that? Um, or dictionary filter or something like that, don't we? Isn't that how we usually? The, trying to, God, I'm trying to remember how I did that in, 
The other world. A storage storage bus. That's what I did. A storage bus onto a a big chest. Um, because sometimes you craft up more than the thing can handle. All right, I'm going to dump all this in. We'll need this again, obviously, when we start crafting up our next rocket. Um, we're good for now, though. Yeah, two stacks of titanium. We are we are rolling in titanium now just by getting that like fully automated. Um, and that should have turned on this to start crafting up. Yep, there we go. It's crafting up titanium tetrachloride. Um, and then it will probably switch to the other one when we run out of chlorine is what I'm guessing is going to happen. Um, but that is just uh, chugging along. Okay, let me craft up. Um, do I want to do a storage bus? Yeah, let's do a storage bus for the the ingots, the hot ingots. Okay, as I went to start crafting up the next interface, uh, we've run into a problem here, and I don't know. Oh. that now it's still overflow no that's hmm oh we're low on light fuel yeah okay so the reason it's paused is the sulfuric i didn't realize this had oh oh <laughs> uh yes all right so this was we had this Shoot, um, how do I want to do this? Um, do I just want to void it? That is voiding so much fuel. Um, no, this is, I was converting this into, I was using the, I was cracking it and then turning it into light fuel. But I, when I broke that, it didn't. Um, all right, um, I just need to, we'll turn that on uh, to get that running just for, a little bit um, because I just happened to I was curious I'm like I should probably check to make sure um, we are producing fuel and then I noticed I'm like uh oh we got problems I have no idea how all right these are all empty that's not great how bad are we in it oh god these are all empty we got problems Once that, uh, once that's going, um, thankfully I do have the, the benzene should be running. We are running low on benzene too. All right. So, um, I need to get that sorted. So, um, I need more sulfuric light f or I need more light fuel basically. How do I want to do that? I will probably with the heavy fuel. Oh, does the heavy fuel? I just distill it, right? No, no, that's not right. Yeah, I have to crack it. All right. I need to get this. Ah, <laughs> this kind of this screwed me up a little bit. I didn't realize we weren't producing light fuel. I didn't realize that it stopped. Um. To be honest, it's not the end of the world that we're voiding sulfuric heavy fuel. It feels a little bad, but these, um, that, that thing, like, how long has this been running? And we're still pumping enough to keep that full. Um, and then I can just move it. I think that's just the, I think that's just the basic one, isn't it? It's just doing, like, the one chunk, I think. I think it's just doing that chunk. I don't think it's 409 anymore. Um, but, yeah, I could just, like, move it to 362. I think it's only doing that one. All right. That, that is slowly doing that. That should be going in there. Uh-oh. <laughs> we got problems. 
<laughs> hey, he turned off. Uh oh, We're, we got problems. Let's not, uh, let's not panic. Let's not panic, but panic a little bit. All right. So originally this is why I wanted to just dump all this stuff in here. So that didn't happen. All right. And that's also going to take a hot minute to get all the way down these pipes. But, uh, yeah, I might have to do that a couple times. Yeah, this is, this is why I wanted to... I was trying to just get the the stuff moved over. Okay, so we're going to have to do a little change of plan here. Um, I need another source of that. So maybe I'll reset up the chemical. God, how was I doing that? Fluid heater. No, the fluid heater is still over here. Yeah, I broke this all down. I think it was going into like here or something, wasn't it? Or over here. I still have the stuff. I didn't get rid of the stuff, so. And I think it's it's not even in a system. It's over here somewhere. Yeah, distillery. Fuel eater. Chemical reactor. And how do I get it? All right. This is going to take me a second. We'll be right back. Ooh, okay. So I spread the fuel that we generated or crafted up. I spread it to all three of them. So all three are running. And that charged the batteries down here enough that uh, you can see we are actually inputting a bit more than we are pulling out but we are using quite a bit of power um probably need to turn this off i just realized this is probably running yeah let's turn that off until i get this sorted but now the the light fuel is being transported over um i'm gonna get this eventually it's sorted i'm trying once i get this upgraded um I was kind of waiting until I got the Satane Boosted Diesel, is kind of what I was waiting for. Um, but I think we're going to do the steam in the back of that. Then can that, and um, then we'll crack it and then turn it into light fuel. Um, we did kind of run into some issues with the getting kind of clogged up. But I just want to need to make sure the base actually functions before I start running blast furnaces and stuff. What am I trying to get? Potent. Oh, That's what I was looking for. All right. Let me fix this. Let me get this little bit sorted out and we'll come back. Okay. I think I've got this sorted. Um, I was just throwing some heavy fuel in there uh, manually from the thing over there. But I think I have got this. So we should be able to do the heavy fuel in there. All right, so there we go. That's pulling it over from that. Um, I do have a storage drawer underneath uh, for the carbon. And I put uh, the storage upgrade and the void upgrade. Because um, it feels kind of bad losing some carbon those tiny piles but i don't really feel like dealing with them right now so um i think it's like a thousand stacks we can get and then if it goes over that i'll just start voiding it so uh i'm not just uh doing something and the base shuts off uh, because this filled up with carbon or something like that but uh, i think we're good it's going to take a little bit of time to work through all the fuel that it needs to fill up all these pipes and stuff um, yeah, these are, these are all empty. I don't even think the things inside are full yet because we're burning it and we're using it to craft stuff up. So yeah, but we you can see we are, we're definitely gaining fuel. Fortunately, it's not putting it out evenly. 
Yeah. Yeah, that might have turned off. Yep, yeah, that ran out of fuel, and then it, since it's the last one on the line, it's the last one to get full, so. Alright, I th think we're good. It will start filling up faster once the batteries over here fill up. So once those get uh, completely full, those will stop producing as much, and it'll slow down a little bit. But, uh, alright, I got that fixed. That was, that got a little scary there when the a system shut off but i i think uh i think we've got it sorted um all right well i'm gonna continue working on this you know what i think before i start throwing down storage buses and all sorts of stuff on here i think i'm just gonna go ahead and tear out this like tree limb thing I could also maybe just tear out this part of it and then build down a little bit of a thing, kind of like I did over somewhere. Okay, that's more just hidden. Didn't I do? Maybe not. Maybe I was thinking this. So I had like an area to work underneath. I need to at least do that. Maybe I can do that and then we'll just have like... The branches down like here or something like that so there is like maybe three three tall to fit in here i don't know i like four tall but uh okay i'm gonna figure that out uh, anyway we'll come back next episode and do that thanks for watching and have a good one